What the hell was that? Reshep Shaiti gave us a masterpiece in a film he calls Kantara. This is a mind-blowing film. This film simply talks about man versus nature. Let's talk about the white elephant in Kantara. No, not this white elephant. I mean the English white elephant. A possession that is useless or troublesome, especially one that is expensive to maintain or difficult to dispose of. Most situations orchestrated by the educated elites in India can be described as white elephant. And Reshep Shaiti in Kantara depicts this in a very clever way. Kantara tells a story of a community which rose up to fight against people who were about to take their land. It gives a glimpse to India's education system, the kind of graduates that have been produced, and how most of the educated population is conniving to destroy most communities. For starters, India has the third largest educational system in the whole world, producing about 6.5 million candidates on each calendar year. And all these graduates are supposed to go into the country and search for jobs. But here is the thing. As soon as most of these so-called graduates get into the communities, mostly they feel like because they are educated and the local people are not, they feel like they are way better than the people. And the film Kantara actually throws light on this issue using several characters. One of the main characters who actually embodies this so much in Kantara is the court clerk who is on the side of the landlord to help dupe these people or take the land which traditionally belongs to the local people. Now, just look at how he treats the local in this particular scene. Does that look familiar to you? Now, for most educated people who usually find themselves in local communities, most of them tend to exhibit these kind of behaviors. They treat people without decorum or without respect. This for me is very wrong because it depends on the way you define education. Because the western form of education or sitting and studying in the four corners of a classroom is way different from the kind of education that the local people do have. And the character Shiva which is played by Reshep Shaiti kind of embodies this same attribute because he outsmarts this so-called educated person by taking him to the bar and giving him much more alcohol and that way they were able to extract some information from this person. Can you see the irony here? A so-called uneducated person in the local community is able to outsmart this educated person and extract some level of information from this person. So that is a very big lesson. Education is different from schooling. That means that being educated in the four corners of a classroom is way different from the way the environment teaches the local people to live. They might not have an education which involves sitting in the four corners of a classroom and graduating with a certificate to certify that they have graduated. But you must know that they also possess some level of skills that might not be in the books or that might not be taught in the classroom. For educated people out there, when you go to local communities, you need to give them the maximum amount of respect. And I wish school we teach people to apply much more decorum when dealing with local people or people who do not really have four corners of a classroom education type. Another way the plight of graduates is brought to light in this film is the situation that the character Leela finds herself in. Leela belongs to this local community. Meanwhile, she has completed and possesses a degree in forest management. She applies for the job and gets the job. But at the same time, when the forest located in the land where her community lives is being threatened by the Forestry Commission because they wanted to declare the area as a conservation area, they decided to displace most of these community members, threatening them not to step their foot because that is going to be against the law, forgetting that these people have spent all their lives on this particular land. Now, Leela finds herself in the middle, whether to go with her local community or to follow her new job, which requires her to fight her village and her people, or she can decide to be loyal to the government, yet she wanted the job. To make matters worse, Leela is actually in love with the main protagonist, who is Shiva. Shiva is actually like the community leader in this particular scenario. He is the one always leading all the troubles in the community. And now Leela, when she's in uniform, has to fight her boyfriend and her whole community. And when she returns home in the evening, she has to serve her community. Hence, she finds herself in this very difficult scenario. And for me, that is classical four corners education and what it can do to people. And we see these kind of scenarios all over the place. 
The other major thing that Rishab Shetty portrays very well in this particular film is the fact that governments hardly engage communities on policies that intend to affect their daily lives. For example, imagine you have this forest where you've been living all your life. You get all your drugs from there. The forest feeds you. You go there. You get food from there. Sometimes you kill animals from there. And you wake up one morning and you're told that it's illegal to go hunting or to go get some herbal drugs from there. Can you imagine that? And for me, it's a clear example to why we see white elephant projects all over the place. Because if you don't consult the local people and you impose things on them, they would intend find their own way of fighting back. Now, it might not be actual chaotic fights like the way Reshep Shetty has portrayed it in Kantara. But trust me, we constantly have such kind of things going on in most local communities. And you see, this fact was actually pushed further when I actually watched Three Idiots, which is a Bollywood film. In Three Idiots, the professor put so much pressure on one engineering student who was close to making a discovery. But because the Indian educational system is much more centered on the banking system of education, the banking system here simply means that you give the students the knowledge and come and seek answers using an examination. How can a student's life be judged by 10 minutes or one hour or two hours of trying to remember some few things that they were taught? And so in Three Idiots, the student finally end up committing suicide. And that for me was like a light bulb moment because... It says a lot about the educational system. And it's not just India. Being a native African, we find a lot of those scenarios down here in Africa. And I'm going to make a separate video altogether talking about why foreigners or we here in Africa relate so much to this film Kantara because it shows a lot about Africa. And for that same reason, I actually enjoyed watching the Bollywood film Three Idiots some few years ago. Kantara brings in this educational angle in a total different way altogether. Now, the last few minutes and the beginning part of Kantara, it's everything for me. And if you want to know exactly what I think about this film and why it has best acting, click here to watch this video. I know Kantara has lots of teams in it, and that's why I decided to pick just the educational team for the purposes of this video. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. What do you think about the whole educational system and how it is actually depicted in this Kantara film? If you are just discovering this video for the very first time, welcome. This is the Africa Maze channel. Over here, I talk about cinematography, photography, editing, and all its related branches. I also watch movies and do analysis of all other film industries across the world. If all this sounds interesting, then I do much appreciate it. If you do click on the subscribe button, make sure to turn on the post notification bell so you are notified anytime I drop awesome content like this right here from Africa. If you want to know my thoughts on why foreigners like Kantara, click here to watch this video. Until next time, as always, keep practicing filmmaking. Peace out.